please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Lloyd versus Rayleigh. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Lloyd, you are in court today to prove that you are the biological father of the defendant's one-and-a-half-year-old daughter, Courtney Marie Grimes. You claim the defendant led you to believe that you were the father only to have a bomb dropped on you that another man was her dad. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Rayleigh, you say you are 100% sure that Mr. Lloyd is not Courtney's biological father and you will prove your case in court today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Well, we'll meet that other man in just a moment, but first, let's start from the beginning. I want to understand the nature of this relationship. So, you, you were in a relationship with somebody else when you met Mr. Lloyd or were you in a relationship with Mr. Lloyd and met somebody else? I had just recently got out of a relationship when I had met Mr. Lloyd. Uh, of course, I was ending my last relationship with, Ms. with the other party. All right, so then you had finished the other relationship or you were still kind of seeing this other guy? We had, like, just ended. It wasn't even a, a month apart or a week apart that me and him had ended. And we had started getting intimate right there. All right, so, Mr. Lloyd, at the time you were dating Ms. Rayleigh, did you feel like you were all... were in an exclusive relationship? At the time, I didn't. You know, as... Yeah, as it prolonged, I did start catching feelings for her. Actually, we moved together afterward. We moved you did? In. We moved in together. So, you moved in together? Yes. When she tells you she's pregnant, she comes to you and says what exactly? We was actually sitting in her room, actually. We was talking. She started crying and said she was pregnant. I was excited, you know, this is my first child. So I was excited and I was willing to take up the responsibility to be in Courtney Grimes' life. I already had doubts. I knew of this guy, you know, so I already had doubts, doubts about it. So the third month, I take her, her mom out to eat and we, we just nipped it in the bud like, this your baby. It's like, when she like three, four months pregnant. Do you remember this dinner meeting, Ms. Rayleigh? Yes, yes, Your Honor. And you all cleared the air and told Mr. Lloyd, there's no doubt you are the father. Yes, Your Honor. So why is it all of a sudden, three months, two months before the baby's born, you tell him he's not the father? Well, Your Honor, I was nine weeks pregnant when I found out I was pregnant. That's when the doubting and everything started. I said, well, nine weeks ago, I wasn't with Mr. Lloyd at all. I was with Mr. Grimes. It was around Super Bowl which was in February the 2nd, is the day that they trying to say I was conceiving between the 2nd and, I believe, the 6th. And I wasn't around Mr. Lloyd at the time that they had gave me my conceiving date. Excuse me, um, Mr. Sam. We was dating around the Super Bowl, too. You know what I'm saying? We was dating. So, how far along into the pregnancy did she tell you that you're not the father? It was, like like, the last four months. But the seven, eight months, I left. I said, I'm done with it. Right, this is not my baby. I moved to Indiana. I have to stay down there for, like, a month, two. I get a phone call, and she, like, I have doubts. I don't, I don't think Courtney... I think the baby was even born, actually. And she was like, um, I don't see it in Curtis. A mother knows her, her baby. A mother knows, as she told me. That's what made me come back and try to continue on to be there for my daughter. So, when the baby was born, Ms. Rayleigh, who was present? Um, Mr. Grimes was. Oh, because... Oh, excuse me. She didn't even tell me that he was present when he was born. She, for my knowledge, wasn't well, nobody I, I there but the mother. He didn't need to be there if he's not the dad. So that's why Mr. Grimes... But what... The, the dots I'm trying to connect are when you told him he was the father, he accepted he was the father, but you say that this window between Mr. Grimes and Mr. Lloyd is only a span of two to three weeks anyway, right? Three weeks. Three weeks. Or four. Yeah, three to four weeks. I didn't even know the baby got born. I had to find out off of Facebook. Mm. How old was Courtney when you first met her? Did you ever get to see her? Um, yes. I think I, I seen her... I think, like, the, the second or third week she was out the hospital. She let me see Courtney Grimes whenever I wanted to. She had given him his chance and still give me my chance, too. But wait, you... She gave the baby Mr. Grimes' his last name. Yes, yeah. She gave him his last name. Actually, I'm the one who gave... came up with the name Courtney Marie. Actually, Mr. Grimes came up with the name. So wait, and... you sleeping with two different guys, but they both picked the same name. How awkward that sound. It, it... They both said Courtney. That's what we think is a good name. Yep. Way too much synergy here. 
actually, I think she did already had, she already had the baby. Me and Curtis Grimes had came to a conclusion and actually met up on Facebook and was trying to find out because she was still playing that it was my baby mm. and still playing his baby. So we met up. Actually, we y'all, drove they up pulled to up them. on me. I was like, okay, so both of them asked me in the car together. They in the car together. I'm with another friend who's the daddy, Chantel. So I said, okay. Curtis, you're the sperm donor, and Mr. Lloyd is the one who'll be there for her, you know? And I, that, at the time, that's what the situation was. So wait was. a minute. The two potential fathers get together. You all get together. Yeah, just... And correct. And decide y'all gonna do a sting operation. <laughs> correct. <laughs> you yeah. all gonna yeah. track down Miss Rayleigh. Yeah. And you all gonna get down to the bottom of which one of us is this father. Because you feel like stop. she's playing both of you. And you say, Ms. Rayleigh, you were clear. You said, I Mr. Grimes... I gave what I asked for. You basically, you said, you the biological father... And you told Mr. Lloyd, but you are basically the daddy. Because we say in this courtroom, it takes DNA to be a father, but it takes love to be a daddy. So you say Mr. Lloyd stepped up to be the daddy. He'd be there for Courtney no matter what. He's always there. He's a good dad to her. So now you're here because you want Mr. Lloyd to know for certain that he's not the biological father. Correct, Your Honor. We're here to find out because she don't know 100%. That's why we're here. All right. Jerome, I want to talk to uh, Mr. Grimes. He's joining us from his hometown. Mr. Grimes, do you believe she's your biological child? I'm going to say yes. Then I got some doubts, too, though, at the same time. So you have doubts. Tell the court why you have doubts. Since Shantia has been pregnant, she's been playing both sides. One minute, Corey the daddy. Next minute, I'm the daddy. Corey about to spend some money on the baby. He the daddy. Like, we both still seeing her to this day, you know? So... You both still seeing her? We both still seeing Courtney. I mean, he... He go... He been to Memphis more than me. I been to Memphis one time. He been down there three, four times. <laughs> but Shantia not telling me that. <laughs> so you saying this is supposedly your biological child with your last name, but this other man has been to see the child more than you? Man, I, I'm talking about... I got my whole family calling me like, why is it another man with your daughter on this page talking about daddy's baby? Like I said, I got doubts. I mean, she she look like she look like him. She look she got my nose. She look like both of us. You ask me, but that's what I said. <laughs> both of y'all her mama. Yeah, you know? I slept with both of y'all. Both of y'all get on my nerves. <laughs> Who's paying child support to help support this baby? Neither one. I can't pay child support if I'm not on a birth certificate. Ain't Let me tell you, you can still... You don't have to but pay I child still, support. I still come out of pocket whatever, when, I, when I want to. Support is... It, it can be, of course, done through the state, but it also can just be done personally between the parents. I mean, I tell people, handle it through the living room so you don't have to handle it through the courtroom. So have you helped with this child? Yes, Your Honor. You have. Mr. Grimes, she has your last name. Have you been helping to support Courtney since she's been born? Man... I'm going to tell you like I told Shantia. I told Shantia when Corey, Mr. Lloyd, got out of her life, I told her, give me blood, I give her baby love, basically. I'm tired of her playing both sides. I got six other kids that I got to worry about. She's not finna keep playing Actually with this eight. kid. If Courtney minds, Courtney makes seven. How old are you, Mr. Grimes? 23. We just had a baby. We just had a baby together. That's the eighth one. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Now you all, uh-uh. No, 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 no. Now, you all know. this. How many kids do you have, Mr. Lloyd? This be my first child. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I actually... I actually... I actually went and begged for my job back so I can support my daughter. This would be your first child? Yes, Your Honor. So this matters to you? Yes, Your Honor. But Ms. Rayleigh is, has maintained consistently throughout this hearing that you are not Courtney's biological father. But that still does not sway right. you because you feel like you are. It doesn't sway me because I was already persuaded of that that was my baby. A mother, after, no. Court, after Courtney was born, did and you she... call him back, Miss Rayleigh, and yeah. say the baby doesn't look yeah, like Mr. Brown? I never said that she doesn't look like him because I see it all the way. But, oh, she got pretty hair. That's my baby. I said, wait. Nah, don't say I got no... Hell, I got some good... Oh, my God! I'm Help me, saying, Lord. I got it some ain't Your about that. Hold on, it now. Was... Wait, wait, wait. I'm not... Tra- I, hold on. I can't let you say something that ignorant. Uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh! No, 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 no. We can't say that. Yeah. We can't say that. Nappy here. No, we're not even gonna say that. <laughs> because the truth is, 
as a, a, as a people, I th- honestly, you gotta take that out your vocabulary. <laughs> and we can go one level deeper. The reason why this courtroom exists is to help ensure that children don't have to go without their father. So this ain't no joke to me, so don't come in here with no racial nonsense talking about baby's hair, because every piece of that child is beautiful. And innocent. (laughs) Honestly. And, and, And whether her hair is fine or coarse or whatever it is, it is individually and uniquely hers. Given to her by God, and he don't make mistakes. So we're going to correct that right now. I don't want to ever hear you say that again. Um, Your Honor, can I say something? I hope it's intelligent. It is. It's very, very intelligent. <laughs> um, what gives me the reason that she is mine, my mom tell me when I was little, when she used to change my diaper, I used to do this diaper dance. Okay. I used to be excited. <laughs> Courtney does the same thing when you change her diaper. And um, I have a birthmark on my life, on my left side of my forehead as well as Courtney. That gave me a strong doubt that it is mine. So you strong feel break. like you... Listen, you feel like you have now, for 18 months, you've made trips to see this baby, you That's spend right. time with this beautiful little girl, and you look at her and you feel like there are similarities that confirm your belief that she's yours. Yes, Your Honor. This would be your first child. Yes, Your Honor. So this matters to you. Yes, Your Honor. So, Miss Rayleigh, you're saying you are certain that Mr. Grimes is her biological father? Yes, sir. Or are you saying that you have an, a younger child together as well, so you just believe? Yes, Your Honor. I don't know. I'll be back for that one, too, to be honest with you. And it's my first time hearing that one also. You have a doubt about the subsequent child as well, the paternity? Yes, ma'am. And that's what makes me upset about this whole situation, because they be trying to play me like... I'm just this bad person, this bad mother, and this bad, just bad, and I'm not. I had conversations way before I even turned seven months that he's not the father. I never told him that he wasn't the father at all. And to hear him say this in court today, he would never, ever speak to me again unless it's about our children, and that's it. It's no more going back and forth because I have been going back and forth with these two for too long, and it's time for it to end. Either I'm going to be one of them or neither one of them, and I want it to come out today because I'm done with it. Absolutely done. I just want the truth to Keep be your gone. legs closed. You won't go through this. If you keep your penis in your pants, you won't have this problem either. Lord, Lord, Lord. You're right, but that's why I don't think she minds, to be honest with you. Well, listen. DNA would tell it all. Listen, listen. Everybody in here has a part to play in this. Because none of you protected yourselves. Y'all run around here having too many babies like you baby factory. I mean, Detroit is a factory town, but this is not the type. <laughs> He's a factory his own self. Hold on. I'm from Detroit. I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> Jerome, I'm ready for the result. Let, let's get the answer to this, because we got to figure out how we gonna move forward. Amen. Y'all, 25, 25, 23. So, Mr. Lloyd, I just want to know from you. If... This is your biological child. Do you want to have a relationship with Ms. Rayleigh? If, if Courtney was mine, I'm going to go down there and be a full-time parent with my daughter and support her through the whole nine yards. And if she is not? Then I go on with my life. <laughs> on my life. The results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Lloyd versus Rayleigh, pertaining to whether Mr. Grimes or Mr. Lloyd is the father of one-year-old Courtney Rayleigh Grimes, it has been determined by this court the biological father is Mr. Lloyd. For y'all. Congratulations. But you're done. I knew it from the start. You're done, bro. Calm down. Because the truth is, it's not done. Because you might have another baby. You potentially impregnated the same girl again. 
Man, y'all believe that if y'all want to. Y'all believe that if y'all want to. So you're saying now that because of this result, you further doubt the, the, the next child. The same thing we just went through with this baby, since he was doing the same thing with this new baby. It's me and it's two other guys that's possible for this one. So, like I said, we'll I be back how sooner or later. Possible, but Your Honor. Okay. Um, I, I want to know what we're going to do about her last name. I don't want her to we have that last it. name. Okay, listen. Listen, listen, listen. Let me get to what I want to know. Okay. Do you still have the job? Yes, ma'am. Good. You don't worry about chasing her. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I'm going to talk. I'm, I'm keeping sorry. it real. At the end of the day, it is not going to be about what you think about her, Mr. Grimes, or you think about her, Mr. Lloyd. I'm concerned about what Miss Rayleigh thinks about herself. Yeah. That's it. Because at the end of the day, that's what matters. Do you understand, sweetheart? We have counseling and resources for you. I want you to deal with whatever's going on inside yourself that makes you give yourself away for free. All right? You have a bigger destiny than being a baby factory. All right? Yes, ma'am. All right, I wish you all the very best of luck. Take care of those beautiful children. The court is adjourned. <laughs>